Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fish and Tech Course, and today is Tuesday, May 14th. I'm up here taking a stroll along the beach, Mid Island, Long Beach Island. Here to share an updated fish report, you folks. Sorry, I haven't had an update in uh, I guess over a week. Been uh, kind of tangled up into some things, but uh, right now I can share the fishing is grinding on all cylinders. If you've been out last couple weeks, you know it's been good. Uh, basically, the first half of May has been very, very strong. About as good as fishing gets here on Long Beach Island. On the surf, we got both striped bass and bluefish. Great reports just about every single day coming to the shop. Yesterday afternoon was another phenomenal day. Uh, in the evening time, had a lot of great reports coming in from, from throughout the day. Um, first, I'll give a shout out to the fishing musician, Rick. Uh, Rick Weiland from Ship Bottom. Him and his wife have been getting out, doing some fishing along the beachfront. He's reported an awesome spring so far. He said it's, it's one of his better springs he's had in a long time. Rick's, uh, Rick's been putting a lot of time for many years, and, and uh, he's definitely, he definitely knows when fishing's good, it's good. And you know, I'll definitely always hear about it when uh, fishing's slow as well. Uh, but he's been getting out, fishing clam, catching some striped bass. Yesterday he had some, uh, reported some bite-offs. So it looks like some bluefish kind of came into his, into his, uh, his hole there and uh, chewed him up. So it's great to hear that. Uh, I can share he had some bluefish weighed in just the other day. I actually forget the name of Tommy Smith. Shared his nephew um, was up on the beachfront. They were fishing up in Mid Island, say Ship Bottomish area near the shop. Uh, reported getting some some bigger bluefish, some medium sized blues. We're seeing bluefish anywhere in the uh, I'll call it uh, five pound up to fifteen pound range. Most of them are in the seven to eight, ten ish area. Um, I know yesterday Bobby Capri stopped in the shop. It was, it was in the later afternoon, I guess after work, did a little evening session, and he had fish right in the dark, both striped bass and bluefish. Actually, some really good size striped bass. Uh, another report I could share, Dante from Magic Tales. Uh, he went up there with, with his son, Junior, you know, Dante Junior. This is absolutely insane. D, keep reeling, buddy. You got him. Reel, reel, reel. This is absolutely insane. We've been here. Um, and they got us some really good fishing as well, some big quality uh, striped bass. Uh, Dante actually reported uh, last week to me, couldn't really share too much, but you know he reported some really big fish he had uh, fishing some lures on the surf. So it was good to see that. We've had a really good, good run of fish so far. Uh, anybody wants to get on the action, it's mid-May. May is a phenomenal time to be fishing Long Beach Island. And I just recently just shared you know, updates in regards to the beachfront, but we got plenty of fishing taking place in the back bays. Um, and also in the inlets. So if you're looking to get into some action, um, now's really the time to go. As you see behind me, there's definitely a little bit of a swell still in the water. We've had residual swell for days uh, in the two to three foot range. It's been a little bit bigger, a little smaller, day in, day out over the past, uh, say, week or so. Lake Atlantic conditions have not settled in this month of May. Uh, it's definitely been uh, churned up, but nothing crazy, nothing too, too rough. Uh, we do have a, another breezy south wind right now here. This is about, uh, about 10 a.m. on Tuesday. South wind's kicking about 5 to 10 out of south. I think it's going to kick up more. Um, but what I wanted to share is there's definitely a storm coming. So we got some rain possibly later today. Looks like some rainy conditions into Wednesday, even Thursday. Uh, that wind's right now in the southerly direction. So it's going to kick up more southerly, more easterly, even go northeast. We've got a pretty big storm. Um, ooh, that almost got me. Uh, that, that's going to be churning and setting up off the coast here, say, say New Jersey, New York bite uh, between Cape May and Montauk, sitting out doing a little spin. So throw a little video up of that, of, of just the um, so wind chart. You'll see that, that storm kind of coming up the coast and setting up uh, in the bite there and kind of cranking along. Uh, so expect some rough conditions. There's fish here, so why not fish those rough conditions? Fish love whitewater. That's why I think these fish have been in the surf here recently. That's why I think we've had such a great spring run so far is because we've had a kind of a consistent uh say residual swell on the beaches we've had some good clean water there have been a few days with some weed reports lots of weedy conditions but but there hasn't been a ton of that so it's been fishable water's been clean uh we've had some small swell just kind of creeping along also we've had a little bit of a lack of bunker uh, more recently we've had some bunker schooling up we've had some um some recent deliveries from our local gill net boat out of barnegat light it's a small boat uh that, that catches us some bait um when there's not a lot of bunker around, those fish have to get up in the suds and start looking around, rooting out some sand fleas, uh, rooting around in, in the wash um, for clams and such. 
You may see behind me, if I turn like that, you'll see a little bit of a high tide line, or maybe it's not a high tide line because the tide's coming up right now. It's, it's uh, towards a lower tide. High is at, I think, 1.30 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. But that's basically like the water line there behind me as I'm walking. Um, you'll see a lot of different debris washed up. Not weed, at least where I'm at here. Uh, I'm in the township, I'm at Long Beach Township, uh, not so far from my house. Uh, you'll see it's kind of tight there behind me, but there's a couple of sections like that where you have a seawall and tight little sections. So be prepared if you're, if you're four-wheeling through here. Um, down where I'm at, closer to the Acme, it's a little bigger beaches. This is more like, uh, I guess I'm almost 68th Street right now. A little bit tight in here, 68th. Uh, into like maybe 70th in the 80s maybe, and then it opens up again. But uh, back to what I was saying, is those fish are in the wash, chewing down the sand fleas, chewing, chewing the, on the clams and crabs, the calicos and such, even some worms that sometimes are up in the uh, older sod banks that are still under some of these, uh, say, sandbars. And these fish are coming in, they're rooting around these cuts, they're rooting around these troughs, and they're getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here. And that's why it's been so good for the surf hangers of LBI, because those bunkers are not potted up say a mile off, two miles off, three miles off, or more. Um, some springs we have consistent west of the winds and Lake Atlantic conditions, and those bunker, because their filter feeders push into the wind and then they're up on the beach, and then you can snag and drop, uh, or used to be able to snag and drop, or you could you know, chunk and fish bunkers. Uh, snag and dropping is, is illegal now, you have to snag and rehook, which is challenging for people off the surf. You have to kind of make these weird contraptions to do it. But um, that used to be kind of like, say years back, a way to catch fish in the early spring and mid spring and in the, in the prime time of spring. It's how you get big quality fish off the beach. But uh, it's, it's been a change of, a uh, little bit of change of gears because we've had that, um, call it a decline or less populations of bunker in this specific area. Um, you know, these fish are kind of getting up in that wash. It's actually a benefit to surf anglers. With that said, clam bite has been phenomenal this spring. Uh, striped bass been chewing on clam, anglers catching on salted clam, anglers catching on frozen clam, depending on what's available. Just so everyone knows, customers come in and they say, oh, where the hell are the clams at? Why are you guys out of clams? Well, sometimes clams are hard to get. They don't have a super long shelf life. But also, when it's rough, day on, day in, it's hard for the boats to get out and get them. So just like we go to harvest fish, they got to go to harvest clams. They're fishing for them too. So sometimes weather uh, plays a big part in that. So we, I think we have a clam delivery coming today. But with this weather coming, we're not going to have another delivery for a number of days, possibly uh, it could be later in the weekend at best. So we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully the weather lets the boats out. But if not, it's gonna be salted. And a number of uh, times throughout this spring season, we've heard good reports on, uh, on frozen bunker, on salted clam. So yeah, it's, it's best to have the, 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 the best premium bait you can possibly find, the freshest. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta use what, you work with what you got, uh, and use what you can get. And fishermen chewing, that's great. But also don't wanna, uh, forget or discount uh, fishing lures. Diamond jigs, Hopkins, um, those are great uh, bluefish lures over the years. We also catch striped bass on them. Um, this time in the spring, when there's some bigger fish around, don't be afraid to fish some bigger lures. I think I mentioned in a previous report, some pencil poppers, uh, some big metal lips, uh, maybe fish some darters. If you wanna come in the shop and talk about lures, specific questions you may have on, on, on lure selection, lure size, lure action, uh, what certain lures do and what certain lures don't do and what application one may be better or worse for. Um, stop in the shop, we can talk about that. Most of the time, if you've got a good pocket of water in close with a little bit of swell, metal lips can, can, uh, can do it up. If it's shallow, sweeping conditions over a sandbar, a lot of times a uh, metal lip may dig into that shallow water. A darter may, may kind of slide and cruise across. Looking for a little more distance, needlefish is going to get you out there a little further. Pencil popper is going to get you out there a little further. Sometimes those metal lips are going to tumble and not give you that distance. But certain scenarios call for one, certain scenarios call for another. Don't ever overlook the diamond jig or metal, a bucktail. Got to have a rubber shad. Right now, it wouldn't be the first thing I'd throw just the bluefish around. Probably get your tail chopped off pretty quick. But darters are great, metal lips are great, pencil poppers. And for sure, don't ever forget like a minnow style lure, whether that's a Yozuri LC minnow, uh, maybe it's a, a Daiwa SP minnow. Um, the Rapala X-Wrap, sometimes they dig a little too deep along the surf, but the classic bomber, Long A, phenomenal lure. Uh, the long shot that bomber also makes. Um, there's so many, so many lures out there. Be sure to have a selection that do different things as opposed to, say, a surf bag of, say, five or 10 lures, and the majority of them all do the same thing. There's no reason to have 10 SP minnows in your bag because that's your favorite lure. Okay, you might want to have a couple. Maybe you have a floating, a sinking, a 13, a, a 15, so you have two different sizes, 
two different weights. Technically, it would be four different weights. Uh, and maybe a color or two. If you're going at night, maybe you want the black and purple. You're fishing early in the morning, late, late in the afternoon, maybe you want black and purples too, but maybe some yellows. For sure, the bone, maybe if it's a sunny day, I really like a natural color, clear water, clear day, natural color. Go with like the olives or the straight chromes. There's a sardine that, that, that done very, very well for me over the years. But if you're gonna pick one and only one, to me, it's gonna be the bone, fish a day or night. Uh, my number two would be the chicken scratch, which is a yellow, and it's got a little white belly, sometimes it's got some dots. Hopefully all that kind of brings you some, uh, some, good, some good help this spring. Uh, hopefully my reports have brought some value to you. Be sure to stop by Fisherman's Headquarters and uh, get geared up, ask questions. Uh, hopefully you're getting in on the action this season. Get down to LBI. Fishing is great right now in the middle of, the middle of May. Uh, we've got a few weeks left, I think, of prime time. Uh, I guess we got, we're sort of mid-moon right now. We kind of got, I think it's another week or so into the full moon. We just had a new moon a, a week or so back. Um, but I think you'll have really good fishing right now into the full moon. And then we'll see how things go based on water temperature, based on weather, fish migration. We'll see how things play out into June. Normally the first week of June is very, very good. Who knows what will happen this year? It's very, very good right now. So why not get down and get in on the action? Like I said, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters, gear up. We're located ship bottom at the entrance to Long Beach Island and get in on the fun. Have a great day.